well, happy birthday to me. It's always kind of silly celebrating your own birthday, but that's what I'm doing. And again, we're doing Geo Better World for this week. If we're going to do it next week, uh, still up in the air. I don't know entirely yet, but uh, yeah, it's your Friday. You made it to the end of the week. So if you don't really give a shit about my birthday, which I mean, you really shouldn't, you don't really know me. Um, it's the end of the week, and I guess that's a celebration of some, unless your weekend isn't on the weekend and it's some other time, well then, it's just a normal day. Well then, you know, I'm trying to cover every single possibility, purview, whatever you want to call it, for what a Friday could be for you, unless you're not watching this on a Friday, then I give up. I can't, I can't assume everything. No. If you're watching this on New Year's 2036, this is the last thing that's a remnant of human civilization as the rest has been annihilated. And for some reason, this one video um, is left for the best way to represent humanity. Kind of like, uh, what was the name of that movie? Uh, God, I think it was Sandra Bullock. Or, uh, Someone else, a Shigorni Weaver, maybe she was playing some sort of scientist, and it was Contact, maybe it's called, where uh, they get some sort of coded message from some other, what they think are aliens, and it comes back to be the, uh, what was it, 1936 Olympic Games with Hitler's speech. And, you know, apparently it turned out, I'm going to, I guess, spoil a little bit of Contact. The only reason I got turned back is I guess that was the first broadcast like globally or at least you know broadcast to the world or to the best of their abilities across the Atlantic to the, at least the U.S. and probably some other countries too but it was the first instance of Java's updates being available and everyone was freaking out I was like oh what is this does this mean that I gotta click a place because it's just saw the picture of Brazil I don't know where the hell this is um I kind of feel like maybe I've gone in the wrong direction. I'm going to hit home and try the other way. Um, we're thinking, what are the rate, or do, do the aliens actually like Hitler? And <clears throat> they only played like a quick little clip of it, I remember, from one of the movies. It may have been more prevalent, it's just what I remember, of uh, like a bunch of uh, parades about it, you know, just because what it was. What the hell was the point? Oh, yeah. It was the first thing that aliens had of uh human wait is this like the is that like the province flag i don't know what the fuck flag that is that's new um but that was the first like introduction the aliens had to humanity i guess is what they used as for that and i'm just saying that if this is the only thing that's left jesus christ you guys have probably gotten bored of what's considered human life and activity at this point. Preferred to Macapa? Macapa Prefecture? I don't know what the hell this means. Like, that flag makes me feel like we're up here for some reason, but, you know, I have no idea. And I guess maybe I should zoom out so you can see what the world is. I mean, you probably already know what it is. If you're, if you're that far of an advanced civilization to find all of this stuff, you probably know more than what, the, than what I know, which is... Why are they showing rhinos and giraffes? None of these things exist in this country. Oh, what's he running? Why are they, is this kid like trying to make a break for it? And the guy's catching the kid? Or is he worried about getting hit by the car? But yeah, see, maybe I was a bit worried that French Guiana, it was close to French Guiana, but who cares? I clearly don't. Anyway, yeah, December 28th, it is the beginning of my weekend because i'm being selfish my birthday and weekend and wash your car buddy it has not been not moved in a while al us no au is australia hmm al not argentina it's not alabama is that a flag are these flags Albania? 
this very well could be Albania. Hmm. Uh, if it's not Albania, I know when I was in Macedonia a couple of times, I did see a lot of Albanian flags, but I'm going to just put us in the country to begin with. Just say we're in Tirana, because I don't know what else to put it at, but... Um, I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to say other than my birthday thing and woody woo. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. As soon as you get past 21, you really don't, at least I don't, give a shit about birthdays. They really don't matter anymore. I mean, when you're a kid for the longest time, it's like, I can't wait till I'm actually able to do things I'm not allowed to. And then once you're able to, of course, you're going to indulge for that one time. Maybe in the next couple of years, but after a while, it's just kind of like, eh, I've done a bunch of these. Woo. Fantastic, I'm having a great time. Um, and then you're just like, well, instead of moving it to the weekend, I'm just going to have it when it is, because after a while you don't care. And it was like, oh my god, your birthday's on a Tuesday. We're not going to go out and party on a Tuesday, and you're not going to be like, all right, well, everybody I know, I'm going to have my birthday the next weekend, because that's where I'm going to celebrate. Everyone's just like, no, fuck off. I got shit I got to do, too. And it's just... And inevitability of just getting old is, yeah, you still want to do things with all your friends, but things get in the way, and you got to be understanding. I mean, yeah, you can try to be a little selfish on your, your birthday because, hey, it's my birthday, but honestly, at a point, you're just like, what are you doing? Let it go. Yeah, great, it is your birthday, awesome. I'll have a drink when it's most convenient to all of us. But you got to relax a bit for getting all in a tizzy about that stuff. Maybe that's just me. I mean, I also know that, uh, I think it's in birthdays, at least in Macedonia, when it is your birthday, everyone goes out and you buy everybody drinks instead of the other way around, which, honestly, I think I like that way better. Shitet bizni. Shit business, huh? I'm thinking that's you and me. I forget what language that could be. It could be French. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> And that's birthdays. Florida style. Tommy Hilfiger. I'm just going to say this is Albania just from that one thing I saw, what that potentially could have been a flag of, but not entirely sure. Um, yeah. Is there anything else that was important to say for birthdays? Not really. I mean, I constantly forget what age I am. I mean, don't need to. I just know that, hey, this year I guess I had to renew my license, so I did. Um, you got nothing else to say about it. Just I'm old. I'll wake up tomorrow. I'll do everything I can. I don't even know if they're going to say anything at work. I'm not expecting them to. I'm not like making a public knowledge. All my friends that I work at, that I work with, they're they're on their little vacation thing. That's another thing that sucked about having your birthday, at least as a kid, around. I'm Tehran, yeah. All right. Nailed it. The only other thing that sucked about having your birthday three days after Christmas, especially when you're a kid, I know, well, the way it worked in my school is, hey, it was, when, you, when it was your birthday, you would take uh, cupcakes or cake into school. Your parents would bake a cake or cupcakes or cookies or anything, and you would bring it into school, and you would give it to all the people in class with you, being like, hey, it's my birthday, have a cookie. And again, just like most things, hey, baby, nice. Don't know where this is, but everyone would go in, give their cookies and their treats, Africa magic. Go TV, we're entertaining Africa, but I don't know where we are yet. Those flag colors could say South Africa. But the, the, there's a lot of countries that have the kind of the red, orange slash yellow and greenish blue motif. So I'm not entirely sold yet. But yeah, since my birthday was right in the middle of any sort of vacation, I never actually got to do that stuff. Which, you know, now looking back, I'm like, what was I getting upset about? But at the time, I'm a kid, like, it's the most important thing in the world. How can I not? have the opportunity to bring in treats to all of my friends I go to school with. Cut your SIM card here. I don't understand that. Cut? 
Oh, unless it, well, they make, if they come in those little, like, cards with the little things there, they should just be able to snap right out. I don't know. I'm not finding anything to let me know where we are just yet. Stationary and computer accessories, this doesn't help me. Maybe this will? Where in Africa is this? I don't know. None of these buses are helpful. If they're even buses. Stop work, Unilag. Don't know. No, I don't know where we are yet. Let's just try to get to some buildings with some wording or writing on it somewhere. Drugs needed. Nice. You know, it says drivers. I'm still saying it says drugs. Tuck tucks. A lot of do not dump here. No one gives a fuck. Anything on there? It's gonna help me. Nope. And the other thing that. Was a bit annoying, but I kind of get it too. Ooh, this thing may help me immensely. Gimme, give gimme give over here. Gimme over here. Gimme. Can I? I want to get to this. There's. Oh, God. Oh, Legos. Well, all right. The other thing that was annoying, especially as a kid, is uh, having your birthday right around Christmas and people would just do that pairing thing like, oh, this counts as your birthday and Christmas. And I mean, I really never understood that being such a concern and or issue until I actually had to go shopping for someone else who had their birthday on uh, around Christmas as well. Okay, so University of Lagos. This is, yeah, University of Lagos. I gotta find... Oh, so there's a bunch of... Like, little things here. Oh, I'm thinking that's... Pro I think we're, like, here, actually. I'm gonna hit home, and then maybe I can find... Like, a road sign somewhere? And I never really... University Road, yeah, okay, so... Oh, man, I got... That was faster time than I thought. Never really understood how much of a pain in the ass it was to shop for somebody during Christmas. And then like a week later, I gotta get you another thing. Like, it almost robs it from the other, but... Mm, and they're, they're used to it as much as I would be also, but... Never understood it from the other perspective until you actually had to do it yourself. Granted, there's there was one other kid in school... Who actually had the same birthday as me, but it was a year earlier. So I had someone else to commiserate with. And if you don't know about that weird little... I don't know if it's called a paradox or it's like the birthday something or other. Where I think you only need... You have to Google this to find the exact percentage. But I say if you have like 25 people in a room, the odds of two people having the same birthday is something like 70 or 90 percent it's like an insanely high number and it's one of those things where you just sit there and be like wait that doesn't make any sense but the math can i get over are we just at the i'm not gonna go this way this isn't helping me i'm gonna go down here but the math checks out where like it's not like someone trying to find a birthday that matches yours it's just any two having two matching birthdays i mean it, someone who's smart would be able to actually uh explain it i can't no idea where we are. Uh, this doesn't help me. This could be Central America. I haven't found anything to tell me otherwise yet. So we move on. Uh, birthdays, yeah. I mean, I don't know if there was... Like, other kids also had that issue if they had birthdays during the summer, but any of the ones who had it during the school year, they were like, wow, you're the cool one, you gave me a cupcake. And I just went, I don't want to be a cool person with a cupcake. And I never, never did it. Now looking back, like, that was a weird tradition, and I don't know if any other school really had that for, like, birthday stuff. Like, you came in and gave everybody in the school or your class birthday stuff. Like, even they would do morning announcements at the school. After you'd say your Pledge of Allegiance, they would give birthdays and everything. And then, you know, the day before Christmas vacation, they would go through the entire list of people. And, you know, after... Ooh, arcade. After being, like, stuck in line, like, they're saying a good chunk of, like, two or three weeks worth of people's birthday. 
and you get drowned out where everyone's just like, I don't care anymore. These announcements have been going for so long. And then they say your name, and you look around, hey, they say my name. No one cares anymore, because you're like, name 50 out of 200. I just never felt special. In school. For that one specific reason. That's a very dumb and selfish thing, but that's what kids do. They're very selfish. Where the hell are we? I haven't found any URLs to help me. And I'm running very low on time. Come on. Um, zoom out. I just need a good... Um, oh, MX. So, uh, well, Mexico. I couldn't tell you where. Maybe Southern? I'll just click, like... I don't know. This feels a little tropical. We'll just say there. Wait, was this... Medico? Oh, that's, sir, that's not Merida. So never mind. Wait, this is San Jose. Shit. Is this El Salvador? Hmm. I need to get... I need to see. I have nine... Shit, 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 shit. Where's that... Where's that thing? Shit, shit, shit. Three. I need to see the sign. I... Uh, this is gonna be El Salvador, isn't it? Nope. It was Alcapoco again. Oof. This one's not going as well. Just mainly because of that one Brazil. Because, big surprise, Brazil's fucking everything over. Can't go down the road. Let me go down. Thank you. Uh, instantly, I think this is England. You, what? Oh, you got weird gloves in your hands? Are you going for a bike ride? Or are you just like one of those guys who always walks around with fingerless gloves? This sign may tell me everything I need to know, and it's not. Uh, road signs. Give me... This doesn't make me feel like English. Alright. Smeka. Navanzje. Okay, this makes me feel like Central Europe. Uh, Slovakia. Kind of like in this area. I need to find a bit more info. But who knew that the one thing that was going to mess me up would have been Brazil, even with this allegedly being a little easier. But that's one of the problems with these theme maps is you can kind of try to game it where you're like, okay, they're going to try to make it easier. They're going to try to go from, like, bigger cities. Or if, like, hey, it's Albania, I'm just like, well, they're going to pick Tirane because it's a, they're not going to go and do the work to find another city in Albania, like Duras, no, I'm just going to guess Tirana, because, hey, if you're going to just try to be a little different, you're going to pick, like, oh, that weird country, well, that's the capital, I don't know where else to look, I'm just going to click there, you know, one of those things, and I need to find information here very soon. I went that way, I'm going to go this way this time. So the only thing I'll be able to suss out is, well, we're just outside of a downtown city or more of a developed area? Hmm. Let's see. What's this say? Okay, yeah, this sign Zagreb. Okay, Croatia. It's one of the pluses about uh, capitals knowing things. I'm assuming Zag like, it's gotta be in Zagreb here, because what else am I going to do? Like, if you're picking Croatia, I mean, sure you pick it. Unless you do, like, where's that split? Remember Evo? This is where he went and vacationed over the summer. You're wondering what he was doing. That. What is this? Is this, like, a bazaar or something? And what's this? Is it a smokestack? I know it's not a smokestack, but it means a thing. Antenna of some sort. I don't know. Ooh, wait, these are like park, school, field? Thought I saw a sign somewhere. Okay, yeah. It's the soccer club or something. Okay. Wish I liked soccer more than I do. I kind of do and don't just because. Eh. Okay, this is a major highway. 
Uh, we'll save it like on this or just off a little bit. I'm going to like click like here because who knows? I mean, if, unless you're from Croatia, you probably are like, no, you idiot. Just take a step back and realize. I mean, I saw some, ooh, Tom Jones, shit. I want to go here. Tom Jones is the man. And then Arena Zagreb for Sade. Man, you got some bangers here. 2011, so this is a little old, but smooth operator, and it's not unusual. What's up, Pushy Cat? And This Ain't No Ordinary Love, which are some uh, good songs. And, oh, we're going to get a crash thing here. I think it's, it's been a while since I had one of these issues, but I've made this video long enough that I'm just going to sit here and wait for it to crash out. And maybe I'll cut this out. Maybe I won't. I might leave it in and see how long this takes because we're going to get an aired out for this. No, we did get it. So it was in the city there. Fantastic. So this is the first time we've gotten under 20,000 in a while, and it's mainly because of this one and this one. But that's what's going to... <laughs> That's what's, what am I saying? That's going to do it at least for uh, this week. And hey, again, happy birthday for me. If you need an excuse to go have a toast, have a drink, have a shot, I guess you could use mine. But if you end up using me as an excuse, it's probably because you were going to use anything as an excuse to a drink. And then, hey, good for you, I guess. But this week's done. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all you do. Or you, and maybe a little bit of me, but we'll come back next week. Maybe I'll do this one again. Maybe I'll just go back to pure geoguessing for the raw, unfiltered experience. But you'll just have to wait and see. So until then, only a few more days left in the year. Try to get everything you wanted to get done before it's over. I'm going to try to. We'll see you later.